Well, panic buying and hoarding have become big problems across the Southland. Tonight, only on nine, Ralph's and Food for Less allowed our cameras inside one of their massive food distribution centers to show us just how much food there really is in Southern California. And the message tonight, do not panic. KCAL 9's Chris Holmstrom live at a Ralph store in Hollywood with that story you'll only see here on KCAL 9. Chris? Susie, shelves are empty all across this area, and it's causing a lot of people to have stress and anxiety as well. But as you mentioned, you do not need to worry about this because we actually had a firsthand look inside one of the largest food distribu distribution centers in our area. It seems like this that are taking place across Southern California, overcrowded grocery stores like this Stater Brothers in Pasadena. At this Costco in Altadena, lines were around the building. The result? Empty shelves, and it's creating hysteria. At the Ralph's and Food for Less Paramount Distribution Center, all hands are on deck. Since this started, we've had employees work 12, 16-hour shifts, six, seven days, um, and primarily voluntary. Vanessa Rosales is the Director of Corporate Affairs for Food for Less. She gave us a tour of the center. There's plenty of food to go around. We've got it here in the warehouses. We are trying to get it out to our stores and to our customers. The center provides food to more than 300 stores in the area. Since March 3rd, employees have been working nonstop trying to catch up to the food demand. In fact, 120 trucks are going out each day. Before the outbreak, the number was closer to 100. And the most popular item? You guessed it, toilet paper, followed by milk, eggs, rice, and beans. But we're asking you only you buy what you need. A statement she can't express enough, especially since the food is here. There's food here. There's food coming in into our warehouses. There's food exiting our warehouses. We just need to get it to the stores. Another concern is people are waiting in lines and not giving nearly enough social distance, making it easier to spread the virus. But the bottom line is grocers want people to quit panicking and cut back on the stockpiling. If anything, really check on a neighbor, check on an elderly person who is really at risk right now and see what they need. Um, it really is a time for us to help others in our community. And keep in mind, it's a trying time for so many grocery store employees, people who have become real heroes during this coronavirus outbreak. And we're also learning that Ralph's and Food for Less is looking to hire more than 300 employees, seasonal employees, during this coronavirus outbreak. Reporting live in Hollywood, I'm Chris Holmstrom, KCAL 9 News.